Welcome to lesson number five. In lesson four, we were looking at behavior of the chromosome in the process of gamete formation. But here, I'd like us now to look at the process of cell division. There are two types of cell division, that is meiosis and mitosis. We are going to start by looking at mitotic cell division. I call it mitosis. In the process of mitosis, the cell divides to result into two daughter cells which have the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. For example, if this is a cell and it was subjected to the process of mitotic cell division, the pro if it was having, maybe let me say, it was having two chromosomes, for example, this cell will divide in cells that at the end will be having two daughter cells and each cell will be containing two chromosomes which are equivalent to the number of chromosomes which are found in the parental uh, gamete. When you look at this one, it is a single strand of chromosome, we call it chromatid. I think you still remember what I said earlier on concerning uh, behavior of chromosomes. This chromatid over here will uh, multiply, we call it replication. It will replicate, hence leading to formation of a complete chromosome. So, when you look at this one, you are going to realize that this chromosome, which was the parental chromosome, has segregated, it has divided and resulted into two daughter cells. Each daughter cell is containing the same number of chromosomes as the parent, and we refer to that as mitotic cell division. Since it has the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell, we refer to that as diploid. A diploid zygote is a zygote which has the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell. And in this case, we may not refer to it as a diploid zygote, but we refer to it as a diploid daughter cell, because in this case, it's a cell which has originated from this one here. This is the parent cell, these ones are the daughter cells. During the process of mitotic cell division, each individual cell will result into, uh, will will come out with, a num uh, with uh, the exact number of chromosomes as the parent cell. For example, if a, uh, for the case of uh, we human, bo uh, human beings, we are having 22 chromosomes in the somatic cells, 22 chromosomes in the body cells, that is the other cells which may include the white blood cells, the epithelial cells, among others. Since they are 22, if this, red, if this white blood cell will go through the process of cell division, it will result into two cells again, two white blood cells. Each white blood cell will be having 22 chromosomes in it. Just the way I explained earlier in our previous lesson that there is formation of um, a diploid daughter cell. That is the cell which have the same number of uh, chromosomes as the parent cell and that continues throughout the generation all these other uh, organisms have the same number of chromosomes within their somatic cells and that runs throughout their generation and it applies even in plants whereby uh, like uh, the maize it has got 40 chromosomes 40 somatic chromosomes in its body and for the other cells as well during the process of cell division they result into 40 chromosomes throughout their generation but for the case of the gametes it is quite the reverse 
If it is having 40 chromosomes, then definitely you expect it to have gametes which comprise 20 chromosomes in them. For the gametes, it is divided by two, but for the case of the somatic chromosomes, it maintains the number. Let's meet in our next lesson where I'll be talking about the process of meiotic cell division. Thank you for watching the video. Remember to subscribe. Thank you.